Welcome back, guys. I have been uh, I have been playing with uh, Clapham Junction, and it's in. It's done. All the trains are in, and there it is. Our house, our house, part two. And I've got to say, it's um, it's pretty damn staggering. Let me let me speed this up so that you can see just how many trains are coming through here. It is crazy how many trains are coming through here. Look at this! Insane amounts of trains. And they're going all over the place. We've even got the, the regional trains. These The orange ones are the regional trains. And they're carrying a lot of passengers. We're, uh, we should be up around 4,000. Let's see, what are we up around? Uh, 3,850. That's come down a bit. This was actually well over 4,000. So we'll have to try and uh, bump that back up again. But this, uh, this is just... This is just fabulous to watch. I have been, I've spent a, like a, quite a long time just sitting watching it. It's mesmerizing. Just train after train after train. Here's a, the yellow ones are the, uh, the pearly trains which come out of Victoria. The dark blue ones are the, uh, the, the Kingston trains. These, uh, I think this is the Richmond train, the light green one. Is that the, uh, yeah, that's the Richmond. The, uh, I think this is the Epsom train. Is this the, yes, that's the Epsom train. The, the kind of pink one. The dark purple, I think is Brentford. Hang on, is it? Uh, is that Brentford? Yep, that's Brentford. You can see how much time I've spent with this. <laughs> and then this one, this is, uh, Chessington, I think is the light blue pretty sure come on give me a light blue train so I can check that it's Chessington or not Duck, it's just like it's just constant all the time the trains coming through here's a light blue one. Oh no uh, Surbiton Surbiton is the light blue so Chessington must be the dark green one then which is this one I think now that's the that's the light green one that's Richmond uh, where's the where's the Chessington? Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh, can't couldn't, couldn't click on it in time. But yeah, that's uh, that one there. Can I can I click on it? No, no chance. Oh, yeah, there you go, Chessington. <laughs> hey, I got it. Now let me tell you. Now you're probably sitting there thinking, hang on, why did why didn't you show us you putting this in? Well, I did plan to, and I did record it. But it was a freaking nightmare, guys. I mean, it was an absolute, total freaking nightmare uh, to put in. And um, it just, it's not fun to watch. Trust me, it's really not fun to watch. It's its lots of me redoing the same bit over and over. These tunnels, I had hell with these tunnels. And like all this stuff up here and, oh, nightmare. But let me at least kind of show you uh, how, it's, how it's put in. So... I know, oh, I've got to show you this stuff later, but we'll, I'll show you this for now. So let's, um, let's zoom out a bit so you can actually kind of see the layout. So we've got um, the four platforms going to... Oh, let's, get, let's get something like that. So the four platforms going to these four tunnels, and then these top two tunnels obviously merge into this route, which goes up to uh, Putney and Richmond and Brentford. Uh, and then this platform, this like if we call them one, two, and three, platform three can also come down here, which uh, which it does. One of the one of the trains that, that uses that platform does come down here, uh, which is yeah, which is the uh, the pearly train, the yellow one. And then the uh, platforms one and two merge here, and then they can go either route. And I think you'll find that the um, that's the, the Kingston train, uses that side. And I think the other one uses this route. No, nope, no, 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 it doesn't. That's the Chessington, they both use the same one. So, um, so yeah, there you go. There you go, and it's um, no more uh, no more jams. It, it just runs absolutely, completely smoothly. I've been running this for a long time, as you can see by the fact that we're up to 71,000 population and over 8 million cash. 
Seriously, I, 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 it's mesmerising. It's completely, totally mesmerising. And let me, I, you know what? I can't, I can't just leave it there. I've got to kind of show you. Um, let's. Sh sh should we go inside the station and have a look around? Let's go inside the station. So um, let's go onto the main platform, and it gets incredibly busy on here. You can see the people building up. And even with the number of trains going through, it's still like constantly busy with people all the time. It's just, it's just awesome. There's a Kingston train. Is this just train, 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 train all the time? I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, one little tip though. Now to use this station, you need to use uh, a mod called the uh, the multi-track enabler and uh, as with all the mods they're in Sky's London collection which you can find on uh, the Steam Workshop but in order to put the tracks like on the appropriate uh, sorry to put the lines on the appropriate track that you want them on right so let me um, let's go to transport so you can actually see the lines and you can see that there's there's lines on all kinds now when you try and put them on, right, it'll it'll default to just the central platform. And what you do is you press shift to be able to put it onto other platforms. But because of the roof, you can't see the other platforms. And the only way you can do it is this tiny little gap here. So you just point at the, uh, at the platforms through this little tiny gap and you'll find that you can select the platform that you want. That took a bit of working out. But... Um, it does work. It does absolutely work, and you can see that, like all the all the trains are going to all the right platforms. Uh, what else did I do? Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the the default entrance is this entrance round the back. This entrance here. Uh, but I thought, you know what? It'd be kind of nice to have some entrances on the front. So I added in uh, a couple of pedestrian ramps on here. Now I had to put these in with the uh, with collisions off, and you can see that. Oops, this one is like half embedded into this building, but it works really, really nicely. I think it really looks really nice as well with the trains going underneath, and it makes it a lot more usable. You can see well, you can see how many people are using this uh, this route out of the station, so it kind of made sense to put this in. And having done that, I went round to several other stations. Let's take a little trip down to Epsom because I did a little bit of playing around with Epsom station. And um, I, put, I put this road in here so that people can use the station, put in a couple of um, pedestrian paths. And, uh, and yeah, yeah, the, now the people on this side, and it, this is all new and this is just still filling in at the moment. And now the people on this side can use this. And I've done that with several of the stations uh, where I, I don't know, <laughs> I've got to find. Did I, do, did I do that one? No, I didn't. Don't think so. Uh, what do I, I did some up here. I, I've got to find the darn things. Which ones did I do? Nah. Oh, this one. Like, for example, this one. So um, I just put a road along the back of the station and then uh, and then hooked it up so that people can get to it from both sides it'll make it much more usable so yeah did that on um, did that on several stations uh, what else do I need to tell you about um, I did have a little play around with this roundabout and, and you can see at the moment this version is using uh, a highway for the roundabout and it's kind of like yeah, just about okay at the moment. Um, this is starting to back up again. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do about that. I will, guys. I will probably end up using the Traffic Plus Plus mod, but I don't want to use that yet, um, simply because it it can cause you problems. And like, if I was to just turn around, like a few episodes from now and go oh sorry it's corrupted my save games and we're screwed and I can't carry on then I think you'd be kind of annoyed so um, 
So I'm going to hold off. We, we, we will. I think we'll, we, we will use it later, but I don't think we're going to use it right now. Okay, so what are we going to do in this episode rather than just yak? Um, well, I, I'm loving the trains. I will point out that this section, um, after Waterloo, this, um, this line that comes down, down here, um, it gets pretty busy because this is, this is single track. But there's a lot of trains that go uh, Earlsfield, Wimbledon, Rains Park before... This is Rains Park. Um, before the track splits. No, that's... No, that's Wimbledon. Sorry, that's Wimbledon. And then Rains Park. Uh, before the train split... The, the track splits here. Uh, and then after that, it's fine. Right? But it, it's, it's pretty busy. It's not jammed. It's just pretty busy. So um, I have loaded, uh, let's see, let's take a look. I have loaded a four track station, uh, which is just, just straightforward four track station. And if it gets too bad, then I'll replace this, the, uh, these three stations with this. And we'll have a, a I, we might have a double track that runs all the way up to Clapham Junction, or it might be a single track, but with four platform stations. Because it's the stations that are causing the bottleneck. It's not actually the track. It's it's just the fact that all the tr all the trains are stopping at all the stations. But as soon as they get past this, it it'll freeze up again. So it's uh, it's okay. I mean, you, it, it's it works. You can see, like up here, everything's absolutely fine. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. So, um, so that's that. Well, let, let, you know what? Let, let's put let's put some more stuff in. I've done a little bit of work on the roads. Uh, and oh, here's another example where I put a road in behind the station so that passengers can uh, can get in from both sides. But the, all this Brentford stuff is turned off at the moment. So I'd like to do a little bit of work on this zone this in and start getting this used because that's going to up our passenger count does that sound like a good plan right cool let's uh, bring up the old map then you can see that i've got i've got kind of something in for this road here and we've got this road here and we've got the station there now there is a road that comes down here um and i've cut see there's two roads that that bridge over the uh, the railway track and I've put in one to kind of give us something cross in there but I think really it's just a case of just putting a, a couple more roads in um, now we've got th this is pretty dense over here there is this Scion Park which is um, that's not there's no houses there so I think we'll we'll kind of leave this area down here uh, but we'll populate this area all up here. So, let's get to it. How are we going to get some decent density in here? And I think it's just going to be like... Something like... That. Uh... Should I run? I should have probably run that straight up there rather than diagonally. I want this to look pretty dense. Let's do that like that. That gives better density there. Um, okay. Now we've got an issue. This is the M4 coming in here, and if we look at the map, we can see we've got a couple of roads that um, that go through here and. The thing is, this is double-decker, because this is the A4. Well, I'm pretty sure this is the A4. Well, it's got to say somewhere where it, what it is. Come on, say you're the A4. It's not going... Yeah, here we go, the A4. This is the A4, right? And then this blue is the M4, and it's actually on top. It goes on top of the, uh, of the A4 at this point, which I think we should do, shouldn't we? The problem that we've got uh, is, hang on, if I drop the map a little bit, the problem that we've got, I, no, actually, we no, we could do it, you know. I was going to say the problem we've got is that this is, um, 
we, we can't change this outside the boundary. But where it goes elevated, uh, we could. We absolutely could. So we could do an elevated highway uh, in through here to this point. Huh. I like that idea. I like that idea. So it would be to, to about there, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's this point here. And there's a road that goes off right over there, isn't there? Yeah. Okay. So that kind of marks that, that point. So, uh, elevated section of the... Uh, uh, the oh, yeah, okay. Uh, well, I guess if we're going to do that... Let's pause this. If we're going to do that, we kind of need to do that now, don't we? Yes, we do, Sky. You say... So, okay, so where's the A4? So the A4's coming in here. So that's, um, now that's going to be six lane, for sure. All right, so let's get to this. So let's trim this back to, I guess, there. All right, and that goes, and that goes, that and that. Oh, we're going to have to move these as well it's gonna be a big a big deal doing this but uh, it's kind of cool and it is one of the it is one of the kind of landmarks of London the uh, elevated section of the M4 so yeah so that's gonna come in around here we, we can use that that's fine and then comes around to where I've marked it all right now, do I kind of smooth it out? That's the question. Don't know. Don't know is the answer. So, all right. Well, let's put the uh, let's put the A4 in. So, what are we going? We're just going to use a six lane, which will come in like up there. Um, let's, let's use the let's use this. Hook that up to there. Then we want to upgrade this to six lane all the way to there. And in actual fact, I think we'll probably um, this this is going to be six lane. This is the is this the Hogarth roundabout? I think it is. It's going to be six lane all the way up to there. So let's just do that. Boom. Um, oh, and I did have a couple of comments about uh, people saying, "Oh, you, you know that, like, because because I when I'm upgrading, like, if I'm upgrading this, I'll tend to do it like one section at a time, uh, rather than you can click and hold and up, 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 uh, update um, you know multiple sections at the same time. The reason I tend to do it in single sections is because when you go past an intersection, it see when you mouse over it, if it goes to the side like that even though you're trying to stay on the main road it'll upgrade the side roads as well which you usually don't want to do so that's why I tend to do it one section at a time okay so that's that right so now we need to bring this I, I, I don't even know if this will work and if it doesn't work well it doesn't work but we're gonna give it a bit of a try so how the hell are we gonna do this so we would want to come on to, so I this is gonna be well it's not it, well we're gonna to have to have this floating because you can't even well I suppose we could have pillars to the side well, well we could try pillars to the side but I don't know we're gonna to have to turn collision we'll have to have overlap on um, and then one two three four so we'd want to bring it up Kind of like there, and then God, this is going to be this is going to be pretty staggeringly hard. Let's take snap off. Oh man, this is going to be hard. Okay, this is going to be like ridiculously hard. Ah, oh, this is going to be hard, if not impossible. 
Ay, ay, ay. I, I'm good, just going to like... I'm going to stay as close to it as I can. And it is what it is. Because I could spend freaking months trying to <laughs> get this to do what I actually want. So, there. Oh, come on. And then... There, go around the corner. Like that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just, just... Ah, you damn thing. I, I'm not going to fuss. I'm not going to fuss. Right, now, then it's got to come down and actually join with this. Now, how? let's have a look on the map. See, the, that comes down the centre and the A4 basically splits off around it. Um, but I think it might make more sense to do it the opposite way. So I'm thinking it might make more sense to, you know, to do it like that. Kind of, kind of, sort of thing. You know what? Let's get rid of that for a sec. Uh, so I would want this to come in. Right, we'll do it. It would do it up there. Like, what about if I came out just a little bit further? Would you? No, you wouldn't. But go oh, there. You know, I think that might be the best we can do, and we'll just have to kind of live with it. Um, so let's see. Can we put the other side in? Now this is going to be the issue. 